Good evening. This is Jim Roch, your old man outdoors. Just enjoying a great evening in the great outdoors. I've been starting a plan for a longer backpacking trip, and of course I've been looking at some things on YouTube. There's a lot of videos out there of people trying to reduce the weight of their pack. You know, you got the old standbys of uh, cutting a handle off your toothbrush, but there's some stuff out there now. You know, people using plastic instead of tents. There's folks that don't even bring toilet paper anymore. I'm not there yet. In fact, in my planning, I've actually picked out some things that I'm adding to my backpack. My backpack's getting a little bit heavier, but I think it's well worth it. Here's three things that I'm adding to my backpack for my next through hike. The first item I'm adding is an inflatable pillow. Now for years, I'd wad up my fleece, use that as a pillow. It worked, but it really wasn't that comfortable. And if you're one of those folks that drools while they sleep, that fleece was not that attractive the next day with the big drool stains across it. So adding two and a half ounces to my pack, I've got this little sack here. This one's from Sierra Designs. And in the sack, I have this small inflatable pillow Two breaths and it's ready to go and with something like this it's much more comfortable to sleep on two and a half ounces to me well worth it the second item is a thermocell insect repellent device now what this does it has a small pad that you put on the top it screws right into the canister that you probably already have I'm always using these with my stove in four and a half ounces, it heats up that pad and keeps the mosquitoes away. Um, it works very well for me. Uh, the literature says it does a 15 foot circle around you to keep mosquitoes away. And I have used it where I've noticed no mosquitoes where I'm at. I take a few steps away from where the uh, thermocell is and the mosquitoes are bad. Like I said, screws right onto the canister. You can see it's uh, wafting up a little bit of, a, of the chemical right there. And um, this really works. Four and a half ounces, once again, if you're sitting around uh, the campsite in the evening and the mosquitoes are getting ready to attack, this way I don't have to dive into my tent, eat in my tent, just lay in my tent waiting to go to sleep. I fire this baby up and I have a comfortable evening. The third item might be a bit of a stretch, especially if you're hiking big miles. But if you're on a backpacking trip where you've got a little bit of time in the evening, I like nothing more than having a camp chair with me. This one's from Helinox, weighs about a pound. Now, could be because I'm getting older, I'm eligible for Medicare now, but I don't like sitting on a log, sitting in the dirt. When I can get up off the ground, sit somewhere comfortable. Now this chair itself, I can break this down in under a minute or set it up in under a minute. It fits in this small bag. I have typically plenty of room in my pack for it. But again, if you're hiking big miles, probably not. But otherwise, something to consider, the comfort of a nice camp chair. There you have it, three items I'm adding for my next backpacking trip. If you like this video, be sure and hit the subscribe button. In the meantime, take care and keep hiking.